mishandling of your data is growing. The company now says the personal information of up to 87 million people may have been shared with Cambridge Analytica. This latest development coming as Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg set to testify next week on Capitol Hill. Melissa Armo of StockSwoosh.com joins us now. Hey, Melissa. Hi, good morning. Good morning. What do you think Zuckerberg is going to say to lawmakers that can make this any better? Well, I think he's probably going to say the same thing pretty much that he said last night. He gave an hour-long lecture last night, a question and answer to reporters, and he pretty much said that they didn't do a good enough job protecting people's information, and he didn't take it seriously enough back in 2016. He was very... He was very apologetic, and I think that he's going to be very similar to like that next week when he testifies. Yeah, but he seems to continue to dig himself into a ditch. He also said this. Let's roll the sound bite. Everyone has a setting on Facebook that controls, it's, it's right in your privacy settings, that controls whether people can look you up by your contact information. Um, most people have that turned on, and that's the default. It is reasonable to expect that if you had that setting turned on, that at some point in the last several years, um, someone has probably accessed um, your public information in this way. So, Melissa, because Facebook is free, we need to assume that our data is being shared? Pretty much. And again, if you go on there and you've subscribed to any apps or ever downloaded any apps and they've had access to your information and you've allowed them access to your information according to their privacy policies. And I think that's the big thing that's going to, that's the bugaboo with Congress because Facebook has to have a way of finding out that these companies, these apps are actually implementing their own privacy standards, which it seems in this case they didn't with this other company that had the leak of all the information. Are you buying anything? in tech right now? I actually don't think anything is a buy in the market right now. And I, wow. that's the first time I've ever said that. And the reason is because the market has had a lot of selling in February, a lot of selling in March, and it's, it's institutional selling. And because mm -hmm. it's institutional selling, I don't see a reason institutions are going to go back in and buy right away. And even no. Amazon looks lower to me. Th that's what I had to ask you. There's a lot of people are saying, you know what, President Trump keep tweeting attacking Amazon and Bezos and the Washington Post because you just made a very healthy company a lot cheaper. You don't agree with that perspective, I take I it. I think Amazon is lower. I think Amazon is in an uptrend. I think Amazon could drop 300 points, points and still be in an uptrend. Of course, it would be a great buy at 1,000. Is it a great buy at 1,300, 1,400 where it closed around yesterday? No, not necessarily. The stock gap down last week. And when you have a gap down like that, a big gap down, whatever the reason is, tweeting, earnings, whatever, I don't think it's a time to go back in and buy. Yeah, and we have Facebook and Amazon earnings April 25th and 26th. So yep. they're coming up. Melissa, thank you. So good to see you. Thanks. <laughs> All right, we have uh, a little sports coming up for you.